<laughs> that is without a doubt the biggest tooth I have ever taken. Is it recording? Mm -hmm. All right. This is without a doubt the biggest wolf tooth I have ever taken out. Set of wolf teeth. This fella, we have already taken one out, and we are now on working on our second wolf tooth here. Um, which obviously, as you can see, wolf teeth sit right where your bit is going to sit. So when you put a bit across this horse's mouth, you could potentially have a lot of problems with that. So we're going to get this out. This is sitting cranial to where most wolf teeth normally sit. They usually sit just in first, in front of this first premolar. That's usually where they will sit. So these ones are sitting cranial. We've already done a nerve block. That's why it looks a little bit gnarly in here and this horse is not feeling it. But we have already done a nerve block. And so now what we're doing is working our periosteal elevators or our wolf tooth elevators around the outside of this tooth to relieve that mucogingival junction or that um, gingival junction and then take off the periodontal ligament to allow us to start to loosen this tooth and remove it. So we're going to do that. All right, so we're still just elevating this tooth. We're just going around the outside of it. You can see how big it is here inside the mouth and we're just going around the outside damaging the periodontal ligament and loosening that tooth trying very very carefully not to fracture the tooth in the process because we don't want to leave a root inside the mouth especially such a big one such as this we really just want to be very delicate you can see this horse is doing really well because we've done a really nice nerve block on him so we've already blocked this whole tooth so he can't feel what we're doing and we're just trying to get this out gently so that he can go on and run really really fast we just take our time, we put a bit of pressure on that tooth, then we hold it for 20 seconds, and we just want to hold, twist and hold, twist and hold, all the way around that tooth, weaken and weaken and weaken our periodontal ligament. Now obviously some people say, why do we need to take this out? Well, if we're gonna ride these guys, this is exactly where our bit sits, and that causes all sorts of problems. It can ulcerate into the gum, cause all sorts of ridden related behaviors. Now this horse is a breaker, so he hasn't been had a bit in his mouth yet. So we're doing a very good thing for him and we're trying to remove any sorts of ulcerations or causes of pain before he even gets broken in. So hopefully we minimize any ridden or bit or learned behaviors with that in that breaking in process. We want that to go as smooth and pain free as possible. And doing this and getting all his teeth all floated up will really help with that. Now obviously I'll give him some pain relief after this and we'll also get him a tetanus shot just to make sure he's up to date with his tetanus. But we'll just keep tracking along here. They can take a while, these fellas. Got it. <laughs> they are honestly the biggest set of wolf teeth I've ever pulled out. All right, this here just shows you a little bit of a difference in the wolf teeth that we can get in some of our patients. So you can see we've got those large ones that I've pulled out just in this video in that bottom right-hand corner. And then we've also got um, just a, a variety of different sizes. Just goes to show that not every horse is the same and everything can be a little bit different for these guys. And so you can see some with huge roots, some with small roots, some that we've fractured and gotten remnants out. Some have been on the bottom arcade right uh, instead of just on the top. So it's very important that we make sure that we have a good look at these, be very delicate when we remove them and try and get the entire tooth on its way out. Um, but just goes to show you the, the differences per patient. <laughs>